Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 29th, 2018. So my goodness, yesterday, what a move after um, Jerome Powell started to speak and indicated that the Fed would likely be less aggressive on interest rates, um, at least for the near future. Um, that sparked a tremendous rally. Did anyone check yesterday and see if there was a sparkle in his eye while he was speaking and, and see if there were reindeer on the roof? I don't know. <laughs> He's not the person that I would have expected to um, inspired uh, a little bit of a Santa Claus move here, but what a beautiful move up we had yesterday. Now, let's take a look. Let's remove some of our bias here, uh, what we want to see happen, and let's take a look for at the chart uh, for what is actually there. So we can see there is a very significant level of resistance right here. Uh, in this chart and the Dow rallied right up there and slammed into that resistance pretty hard and stopped now that doesn't mean it has to um, has to end here it just it's dealing with some resistance we have a beautiful price pattern here and this is a fairly typical price pattern on uh, bottoms like that or possible bottoms I should say like this there's that W pattern and you can see this resistance right here is fairly significant we also have the resistance of this downtrend right here that we're going to have to get through but we we solved a lot of problems yesterday slicing through this resistance level like uh, just man on on that news yesterday the market just got all kinds of fire up slicing through that resistance um, very quickly and moving up strongly so a lot to be thankful for here this morning in the market we're looking much much better and we'll have to kind of keep an eye on this price action now currently the futures are suggesting just a modest gap down which really shouldn't be that big of a surprise this morning considering how much we moved yesterday and we could potentially see some profit taking come into play after the market opens as well so kind of keep that in mind there was news out of um um, out of Europe this morning where uh, German police raided uh, Dushan Bank um, allegations of money laundering you know things like that really tend to weigh on the market's mind and remember we've got the G20 meeting coming up um, this weekend and that G20 meeting who knows what will come out of that but I know there's quite a little bit of hopefulness that there will be some resolution um, in discussions between the US and China maybe moving us closer to a possible trade um, a trade deal who knows but I know there'll be quite a little bit of attention focused on that and, and you know if the rhetoric really starts to spike up and that could certainly, um, you know, bring a little bit of a dour mood to the market. So watch that close. However, I would say that this kind of sheer momentum will often um, catch some follow through. And what I mean by that is we could easily see uh, as long as that rhetoric, you know, is is tamped down um, around the G20 and things like that or heading into the G20, um, we might have an opportunity to see that sheer momentum move us on um, upward so watch that close watch the pullback this morning see if um, we happen to um, see some bulls stepping in to to push that through so keep an eye on it it's certainly a much improved picture over what it was yesterday now we just need to see a little bit of energy to follow that through let's take a um, look hey by the way if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor Click that subscribe button on YouTube. 
and click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. Um, you guys have been just doing so, I mean, helping me out so much by doing that. It helps those algorithms show these videos to more people. And I want to thank you so very much for that. But thank you for, uh, for all of you who take the time to write a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. So with that, let's take a quick look at the spy. Oh, and by the way, stick around. I got a couple uh, charts to show you here um, at the end of the video. Um, so stick around. You might want to take a look at those. Um, SPY looking really, really good here. Moving up strongly. Here again, here's that W type bottom that we look for often in the market. Um, a huge move up yesterday, just ripping and tearing through um, several resistance levels here in the market and probably the most significant was right here tore right through that level now we do have an additional level as you can see right through here and that's where we stopped so any kind of a rest or pullback would not be a big surprise after such a big move but we'll want to watch that closely also if we take a look at the moving averages notice we are pushing right back up toward that resistance zone here of the 200 and the 50-day moving average could this prevent could we actually prevent that death cross from occurring now with this big move um, I, I think that's possible so watch um, watch that closely let's take a quick peek at the cues now the cues have been you know pro the problem child here with um, lots of selling um, and lots of pressure on these due to this uh, trade war uh, going on and now we've pushed right up into this downtrend as you can see and but we did do some great things yesterday we blew right through I mean blew right through this resistance level like it wasn't even there slammed up into this downtrend we'll have to watch that closely and and, and please keep in mind that these resistance levels are real and they do affect the price action of the market so go into the market this morning with your eyes wide open the the possibility that profit taking could come in and we could move back or consolidate a little bit to um, rest this big move it would not surprise me at all to see some kind of a pullback like that but with uh, again with the momentum of this move it wouldn't surprise me to catch a little pullback and see this moving on up before the end of the week so watch that close IWM nice move out of this W bottom here um, that I've been kind of talking about here um, in IWM IWM moving nicely through that bottom now and looking pretty good here but once again um, we're we stopped right here at a uh, important resistance level um, for IWM so a little bit of rest a little bit of pullback maybe even a consolidation would not be out of the question here for IWM but things are certainly starting to show some improvement again there's that bigger downtrend and we stopped right there kind of a multi-level resistance let's take a look at the VIX That old VIX moving back down. How beautiful is this? Uh, we've been talking about this possible wedge pattern here, and we're moving down, continuing pushing toward that lower area. Um, we'll likely see this move back up a little bit today, unless those bulls really step in, but we'll likely see that move back up and a little bit more tightening in here. Hopefully, after that a little bit more tightening we, we will drop down and test this bigger support area um, in the VIX but fear seems to be dropping out here a um, little bit at a time and that's a good sign for us particularly if you're option traders that means those options um, start to cheapen up a little bit with that volatility um, coming off let's take a look at T2122 
Now, this is always the problem, child, for me when we get these big spikes. And I've been pointing these out recently, how we get these big spikes in the market, and then we immediately catch an, an ugly, ugly sell-off. Well, the news yesterday may possibly have created something a little bit different, kind of changing the momentum of the market. But we certainly created a massive spike here in T2122. And that doesn't mean it has to end, that we have to come right back again. The news really changed uh, the market environment here. So what we need to recognize here is we still have opportunity to move higher. And I kind of have a, well, um, a little hopefulness that we might see a little bit more upside in the market as we head into the weekend. But simply because we've created such a big spike in T2122, it is not out of the question uh, that we could see some pullback. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, the earnings calendar, not the earnings calendar, the economic calendar. We have some big things on the calendar today to pay attention to. We have jobless claims and we might start seeing those jobless claims start to creep up and that will obviously uh, have an effect on the overall market. We have personal incomes and outlays, uh, pending home sales coming in, EIA, um, uh, gas report and then we have the FOMC minutes here today so we'll want to watch that also keep in mind there are several Fed speakers on the calendar today um, hopefully they'll continue to echo kind of that calming effect that um, the Fed chair um, uh, brought out yesterday so watch watch those items they can certainly move the market around here yet this morning and then on the earnings calendar our biggest day of this week um, about 55 companies reporting earnings today and uh, we'll want to keep an eye on those as they come out remember always 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 do your best to check against those earnings reports. And by the way, let me just show you here. If I were to look um, at this uh, this stock, I know it, re it reports today. It's a terrible looking stock, but uh, from the list it was reporting today uh, or this morning. And you can see it is uh, gapping up a little bit this morning, it looks. Um, TC2000 has the ability to display the next earnings date right here on your chart. If, um, if you don't know how to do that, I would look into doing that. If you don't use TC2000, it might be a reason to take a look at it because it's it's fantastic to have that earnings date and you can highlight it there. So it's really easy as you're looking at charts to find out when these companies are expected to report and um, plan around that. So something to think about um, in your trading. Um, let's take a quick look here at um, a couple of charts that are looking really, really good. Um, CYH, if you guys have taken a look at CYH, CYH breaking this major downtrend here, big time downtrend. And notice we broke through, we came back, tested support, buyer stepped in, pushing it up. And now we're trying to break out of this resistance level right here. So yesterday, we pop through that resistance level. It looks to me like CYH has more upside potential in it. You might want to keep an eye on CYH and put that on your list. That's a beautiful price pattern there and looking pretty good. Wait, any kind of rest or pullback could set up a really nice low risk entry into that trade. Um, so take a look at that. Um, BKS, Barnes and Noble, big move yesterday popping up breaking through resistance now this needs a little rest or a pullback i think but a little rest or pullback coming back towards this trend could certainly inspire the bulls to move that higher now it does have resistance here to deal with you can see so it may not just rip higher um, immediately it may take a little bit of time for a little rest consolidation to push up toward those resistance levels but obviously moving up in a trend and looking pretty good there another chart i really liked 
um, yesterday was this uh, PBI. PBI, big downtrend break, moved up sharply, now moved over, consolidating over toward that trend, and we're working to challenge this major resistance level. So if that can pop out of here, um, PBI, it looks like it may have some upside potential. And of course, the, the charts that I talked about over the last few days had a great day yesterday, uh, moving on up, nice profits in some of those trades. So kind of keep an eye. There's a lot of charts out there looking good, but we want to make sure not to chase too, too many of these charts in case the market does pull back or they need just a little bit of consolidation so lots of things to look at lots of charts improving um, banks improving um, we're seeing some of the techs improving so keep an eye on that price action hey everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and i will talk to you all very very soon bright and early friday morning have a great one everyone